put your will and But you got to put your axe on it first, right? Yeah. Science, technology, engineering, and math. We see how STEM education benefits students every day. And thanks to Boeing and the Charleston chapter of the National Society of Black Engineers, or NSBE, fifth graders at W.B. Goodwin Elementary are getting an extra helping of STEM every Tuesday after school. I have never seen any kids that come into school and they say, can we do NSBE today? Um, they really enjoy the hands-on lessons and just seeing them work together to complete a task is a huge thing. And I mean, it's all about science, STEM, and getting them involved is a great thing for them. Meet the Nesby Junior Chapter at Goodwin, the first of its kind in the Low Country. Professionals from Boeing and other companies in the area are investing in scholars, teaching them how to use STEM for all types of subjects and where to find STEM outside the school walls. And in art class, drawing is not my favorite thing. So in here, I have I have a chance to draw anything. I think bridging the real world to books science, STEM, what have you. I think that will probably be the biggest thing that they take from it. Erica Hunt is an industrial engineer at Boeing. She used to work with the Nesby Junior Chapter in Seattle. She didn't know if she was going to do this when she moved here, but once she participated in Boeing's local school speaking series, she saw Goodwin was ready. Just came to the after school program, talked about Boeing and what is, what, what's an airplane, the different parts of it. And then I noticed like last school year, they knew all the answers. And I was like, okay, so what's another challenge? What can we do to go to the next step? Fifth grade students that are part of the after school program Kaleidoscope get an hour every Tuesday with the volunteers from Nesby. They participate in hands on learning projects like making small cars out of buttons, straws, and clothespins. It took a little getting used to from the students at first. I figured out it was about science. I started in engineering. I liked it because science is my favorite subject and I like doing stuff in science. I think them seeing that, hey, I can actually work with other people. It's really not that hard to do. I don't have to always work with my friends. I can actually make an effort and be better if I go with other people and they're outside uh, the background or whatever. Competition is another important piece to this initiative for Nesby. The winners of each competition each week are featured on the winner's cabinet. This isn't the most important piece to this program, but it is definitely helping kids learn. One, two, three, go. You have to do it because that gives them a little bit more motivation to be like, all right, I got to do mine better than them or I got to get it done faster than them or heavy. So we make sure we keep that in there. Competition help us learn to be a good sport, but don't brag about it. Success during this hour is also carrying over to the school day, both in knowledge and ways to learn. It helps because you get to work with other people and you get the um, get better social skills and um, get better in um, science and math. My, I myself, I have a few of my own students that are that participate in this on a weekly basis and just to see them more involved with my science class in the afternoon, it's totally changed everything. It's gotten them to think outside of the box. They, you know, they, they want to do more hands-on stuff. They want to work together. They want to do all of that. Keep in mind, this program at Goodwin has only been in existence for a little over a month, but school staff are already noticing the difference that this strategic community partnership is making. And what they do for these small kids that maybe one day are going to go and work and be an engineer at Boeing is tremendous. It's a great opportunity for all of them. My mentor always told me, whatever you do, however successful you are, make sure you give back to somebody. So this is my give back to somebody. I don't have to know them, but I just want to give back. In North Charleston, for the stories of CCSD, I'm Andy Pruitt.